This is D-Brown, the Begotten Son, and today we're going to dive within the sound wave of It Ain't. If we talking about what's motivation, I found mine's on vacation. Everything I seen on location had me feeling like I gotta go get it when I get back to the states, no hesitation. Starting off the whole song with these lines is really a, a, a true testimony of when I went on my first major vacation uh, with my wife and we was actually in um, Costa Rica. It was my first major, major vacation right there where it was just me and her. Um, in this foreign land and when I was just there and seeing everything that's when it finally hit me like oh my gosh like this this is right here is what I want to feel for life you know this feeling right here these things that I'm seeing is something I want to see for life you know so and, and, and I really put this in the song because a lot of people you know when they see nice things or see luxurious things or whatever whatever um, um situation they're in whatever situation they're in they just think of it and be like oh i've never in, in my dreams or never in my lifetime or i wish i could and all this other stuff but i really don't like that type of language i really don't like that type of thought patterns so for me when i see something that i really love no matter if it's luxurious or not I actually look at it and be like, oh man, that's 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 motivation for me. That it's actually real motivation for me to be like, okay, I really like that. I really love how that looks, so I really want that. So now I'm just gonna have to work towards it. Whenever it comes, it's gonna come. But that's to open off the lines right there, that's what that basically means right there. That these things that I see, especially in the vacation, that's where I found that that drive. That's where I found that motivation for me to just work harder at my craft and just work harder in life. Against time, lose, lose situation. The only thing you win is everything you came with. Feeling like a king song conversation. Everything is vain. I string them together with this whole thought process of you know, race against time. It's a lose-lose situation. The only thing you you leave is what you came like. When you leave off this earth, you leave with what you came with, or really you leave it behind. But everything you amass throughout your time here on earth, it's like that's your reward while you was living. You know, so at really at the end, you may feel like you've been winning, but kind of in the King Saul way, that's why I bring in it's a King Saul um, conversation because when it came to, came to Ecclesiastes and all that, it's like he just was speaking of everything is vain. I work, I toil and do all these things and amass a, 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 a great wealth, a great fortune all for somebody else to come in and take it after I'm dead, after I'm gone. You know, and it sounds so depressing when, when I first read that when I first read that, that book, what, actually that's actually one of my favorite books in the scriptures, you know, because it's like, at first glance it's depressing, but then at the same time, it's kind of like, but that's, that's why I ended off with, it feels so good when you see me out hustling. I feel so alive because really it may be vain. Everything is just, just, just a vapor in the wind. But at the same time, when you're doing these things that actually, when that makes you feel alive, it actually makes you feel like it's feeding your soul, you know? So that's where the, the uplifting part came in. And after reading and rereading that book, that's what I started getting from it, that yes, there's a lot of things that may just fall away when you pass away or, or you just toil for nothing. But really, the, within that tooling, to, within that working, if you can find the, the peace, if you can find the happiness in that, that's what makes life grand. It's not really the things that you grab, the things that you obtain, it's the person you had to become to attain those things and just becoming that person and knowing that you overcame different obstacles, that's what makes you feel so alive. Yeah, tell me what you really here for. What you gonna do if you see the night slow? You gonna hang around cause I just don't know. If it's only for the money, then that ass die slow. This line, mainly the end part, is what opens up the whole theme of this actual, the whole song, where 
what are you here for? What are you working for? If it's only for the money, then you're going to die slow because that motivation right there, just only working for the money, is really going to kill your whole kill your whole vibe over time. When you when you go through the roller coaster of life and and all that, and you take these bumps and bruises. If it's only for the money, then that motivation is just going to die. And that's what this whole song is about, where it's like, I don't know what it is, but it ain't nothing next to me. It ain't nobody next to me that's going to make me go out and get it, or that's making me go out and get it. It's, it's me. So it's nothing external, like external or extrinsic motivation. There's nothing external that's making me get up and go out and hit it hard. It's something internal or intrinsic, which lead us to that next line that just for this whole, for this, for the second verse right here, that's where the whole theme of the song comes in at. Carrot on the stick can motivate, only for so long, then it dissipate. It's an inner game, watch the grind elevate, when you get to switch to a better mind state. So right there, carrot on the stick is, is the whole, you know, putting, putting the reward out in front of somebody. That can motivate. It can get somebody moving. It can get somebody moving fast. That is motivation. But seeing that that's extrinsic motivation, it will work, but not for so long. Because once somebody starts to get full, or once you take the current away from the situation, that motivation that that person had is no longer there because they only was doing it for that external, for that external property. They was only doing it for that external value. So. That carrot on the stick can motivate, but only for so long. Watch your game, watch your mind elevate when you when you elevate on that inner game. That inner game as an in intrinsic motivation. The stuff that makes you just want to do something. The stuff that 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 makes your soul sing. You know, without any monetary value attributed to it, you would do it all day. That stuff right there, whatever it is. That is that internal motivation, that intrinsic motivation. So that means that's the thing that keeps you going. That's the thing that, that gets you, makes you feel so alive. When you're going for something and it's in, and you're intrinsically motivated to go for it instead of that current on the stick. Feel invincible when you working to be great. It's the principles to the moves that you make. So principles to the moves that you make where that intrinsic value, if you stick to that, and you're working to be great where it's kind of like mastery like you never reach the pinnacle of mastery you never reach the end when you're working to be a master you may be considered a master or something but you never end on your quest for mastery because you always see once you get there that it's another horizon and another horizon so you just keep on working and when you're working like that those type of principles right there are the things that get somebody to that next level that everybody look at and be like, he or she is the best at what they do. You know, because they're not doing it for no extra. You can't become the best at what you do when you're only doing it for extrinsic motivation. You're only able to do it through the love of the game, the love of the process, the love of something that drives you that's really not tangible. You know, it's something in there that once again, that just ignites the soul. So that's the thing that that turns you on and keeps you going. And let me know either why you on the off base. Dictates if you make it back to home plate. Feeling I got the hunger rising to another state. That intrinsic motivation, seeing that that's the key to keep going, that's an easy way to tell for the for you or the people around you. You know, if they're gonna stick to it, where it's like if they're only motivated by the external rewards by external rewards here and there all over over the place then you can look at it and be like okay they're not going to make it back to home plate in this case like around the bases you know they're not going to make it that far because they're only being turned on by something that can switch just like that or could diminish just like that that's when i go on to you know feeling my hunger rising to another state because i already do what i do out of love you know, but then when you start to move on it and act on it, you start to feel invincible with what you're doing and not really invincible like you really believe, like you truly honestly believe that you can't be stopped or you're unstoppable or anything like, anything like that. But it's just that belief that's in you that's like, okay, I'm just going after this. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to, going to do great. You know, and, that, and that, that belief just rises and rises. And with that belief rising, the the 
the momentum behind it keeps on moving and moving and moving and therefore when it just comes together that's when you in that state in that zone of feeling invincible with it and so that's when i move on from there to actually point out feeling enough a polarizing moment on the way what's out of the line that you choose to stand and gonna stay then stand tall like you embody empire stay when you're in that zone like that and you got that tunnel vision it's like another polarizing moment is on the way where a lot of people who are not in that in that zone or don't understand you once again are gonna look and just and just be really probably upset at what you're doing or upset at how you're acting you're acting like a madman you know you're, you're a crazy maniac whatever just because you're so turned on by what you're doing you're focused in and locked in on it and they don't understand that and seeing that they don't either understand that or understand you or understand that whole process then they're just going to get turned off from you so it's kind of like a polarizing thing the the people who don't understand it is going to get turned off but the people who do understand it is going to look at you and be like yeah yeah and and, and they're going to get amped up from the sheer value or the sheer size of your the share they're going to get um turned on by the sh they're going to get turned on by the sheer amplitude of your grind and your love, your intrinsic motivation is going to spark something in them or it's going to remind them or keep them going. Even when times are, are, are hard or, or low or whatever, they see you going so hard and you're just on and they like, yes, and that excites them to make them keep going. So that's where the polarizing thing is. They're either going to love you for just being so crazy to go for what you're going for and so amped up and animated over it or they're gonna hate you and just or look at you like you're crazy and be like this this dude is crazy i don't know like get him away from me like i thought i knew you but i, I don't know you stuff like that it's polarizing we got you getting up and going out there hit it hard so that's everything when it comes to this song right here it's very open and sparse because I really wanted to drive home the lyrics when it comes to intrinsic motivation versus extrinsic motivation. And that was just a great way to, to point out like what got you going up, getting up, going out and hitting it hard. You know, so that's It Ain't right there. And you can find that on all the music streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, wherever you stream your music and make sure you save the playlist Hashtag Begotten Sunday, and you can find everything right there, all the songs that I've been creating, right there in one playlist that you can continue to bump. New songs every week added on to that. And if you're watching this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this joint. Hit the bell also, and we're going to keep on rocking out with Within the Sound Wave, and then we're going to keep on rocking out with these songs. And with that, I'm D Brown, the Begotten Son, and I'm out. I don't know what it is, but it ain't. I don't know what it is, but it ain't. Nothing next to me, 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 me. Nothing next to me, nothing to make me go.